great things, playing the right way. The results haven't been there. Tonight, you get all of it kind of in one. Uh, how to be happy with everything here this evening. Yeah, really happy for our players. Uh, I thought they've dug in and uh, competed their tails off through the first five games of the year. We know we were better than what our record showed. Um, the underlying numbers and the eye test certainly uh, thought that. Sometimes you go through uh, times where you, you know, you're struggling to find the win. And for us, the, the key point that we kept talking about and hammering on as a coaching staff was to pound on the positives and to address small areas of the game that can improve. And um, it was nice to see the guys get the result tonight for their own personal self-confidence because uh, they've been doing a lot of really good things. We see growth on a daily basis. So uh, nice to get the win tonight. We're going to enjoy it for a little bit. We're going uh, uh, home. We're going to have a good, good night of rest and get ready for uh, another undefeated team coming into our building tomorrow. John Singh. Hey, Coach, what impressed you the most tonight? Well, I thought um, I thought we really committed early to getting pucks behind uh, their defense core. And uh, we were able to play behind them. We were able to put some mileage on their decor. Um, they had two guys sent down from the NHL to get them a little bit of game action. So for us to make those guys work and uh, guarantee pucks deep and and commit to the grind down low. I thought that was excellent. I thought um, our special teams were um, elite tonight. We scored a big power play goal and uh, we had uh, three penalty kills, including a five on three. So our commitment to the win was there. It's something to build off heading into tomorrow night. And, um, you know, we realize it's only one win, but it's one we're gonna enjoy. And like I said, we're gonna build off it for tomorrow. Mike Griffith. You got three guys who got their first goal tonight. How important was that? And then a lot of goals close in, deflections, chipped in. Is that the type of play you want to see? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, we believe that we have a template for how we need to score goals. Um, I don't think we're a style points team. I don't think we're um, you know, going to stick handle every goal into the back of the net or score from long distances. I think we're a team that uh, scores dirty goals, is willing to put pucks on the net to compete for second chances and, and be around the blue paint. So for us to score those type of goals tonight, I thought it was positive. Uh, and then for some of our, our players who had been a little bit snake bitten, but had been all over the chances, just didn't find the conversion rate. Um, I think it's positive for them moving forward. It gives them a little bit of confidence and, you know, that's the biggest challenge when you start out um, the way we did, which is, you know, we're in every game. Uh, we had chances to win. Um, you know, like I said, our underlying numbers of out shooting and out chancing the other team, they were all there. The hardest thing to do when you're not getting the results is to stick with it and to persevere. And uh, for our team um, to give San Diego their first loss, um, I think it's a feather in our cap. We realize it's one game. And for us to continue to take a step, we're going to have to exceed that effort heading into tomorrow night's game against a, another very good hockey team. Terry Oso. Hey coach. So I just want to get this from your perspective, having played professional hockey. I mean, I can only imagine when I think that the energy of the crowd definitely plays a part in the game, but tonight it just seemed like even the shots that missed, there was just so much talent out there and so much speed. And I'm just curious, what does it feel like? Do you think for these players to play the way they are in a fanless arena? Like, does, is it kind of like a practice? Like, does it, does it hit you sometimes too? That it feels a little bit different. I know that they're playing at the level they should be, but I'm yeah. just curious about all of that, just especially the way they played tonight. Yeah, it's different for sure. I'm not going to sit here and say it, it feels like uh, when we have 10,000 people in, uh, in the bank. It, it doesn't feel like that. But that said, I think uh, Mike Hart does a good job of uh, creating a little bit of atmosphere. Our DJ does a good job of uh, creating a little bit of atmosphere between whistles and that type of thing. And at the end of the day, I think the attitude of our players is – we're excited to be able to come to the rink and, and work at our game, work at our trade. 
And uh, if it means temporarily not having some fans in, in the stands, we certainly miss them. Uh, we work for them. Um, but hopefully they're watching on AHL TV and listening to our, our great broadcaster, Ryan Holt.